This is the eSports exclusive presented by DX Racer. What's up everybody? Eric and Mathos here to bring you the latest in eSports and the Overwatch League Stage 2 is underway. Uh, day 1 finished up and there was a lot of new faces on different teams and just some new faces overall in the league. Yeah, you know, some of these new faces started going buck, like AKM on Dallas. And admittedly, none of the new faces on China were there, so this is the same team you saw last week and a half ago, except in a new meta. And God, is this new meta so much better to watch. <laughs> Everything is easier, and AKM had himself an easy time as well, smacking up some boys. Also, Fisher made the LA Gladiators look like a competent team again, even in the preferred meta for the San Francisco Shock signing. It should be more than entertaining to watch where these guys can go, especially for Fisher and Rascal, who were basically riding pine on the London Spitfire. They all ended up getting W's this week, so great start for all these new signings. And it could be a great start for your in-game items if you're sitting there. All you gotta do is watch Overwatch League games, just have it open, link your Twitch to your Battle.net account, and you're gonna eventually get some free in-game goodies. Yeah, one token per game! <laughs> it's in the map! You watch it, you get yourself one token. So if you are an absolute degen for Overwatch League, you can score yourself a quick 12 tokens. Everything uh, costs 100 still. So enjoy your 10th week free skin of your favorite team that you probably already spent some money to support in the first place. And also, keep in mind, boys, uh, you can cheer for bits oh. through Twitch. If you want to support the league and only the league, you may actually get some in-game skins some emotes, some sprays, other things of that variety for the low, low price of all your bits. So just throw them out there and see how it goes. They're really iterating that Twitch slash Overwatch partnership deal for all it's worth. And you gotta make sure, you gotta test out having it open on your phone, Twitch open on your phone, on your laptop, on your tablet, on your PS4. Scam it out. Scam it out. Get, you can maybe get four times the tokens, then you're getting that skin a lot quicker. Uh, King Zone, 14 and 0 streak. Heading into week six in the LCK, or week five in the LCK, they lost. Yeah. To who? BBQ Oliver's Khan's <laughs> first loss with the team. I mean, he's been perfect since he's been in the lineup. He gets a loss. Rascal loses the other two. But King Zone falls. Unfortunate for King Zone. King Zone is dead. All hail the King Zone and BBQ Oliver's. Realistically speaking, this just boils down to some clowny drafts and thinking that these guys were a bunch of jobbers. However, this is guaranteed to be a good thing. Because realistically speaking, if you can beat guys with crappy drafts playing one-handed, then that arrogance is gonna get yourself hung out to dry when you're playing some of the better teams. A lack of preparation is a great wake-up call for reminding you that your 14-game win streak doesn't mean a goddamn thing. You need to keep winning and prepping at the same level, otherwise you're gonna get smacked up by guys like the BBQ Oliver's. <laughs> and the BBQ's the owner of BBQ Oliver's would actually have this game, so you know, some extra inspiration. Gotta look squad. good for your man in charge, that's for sure. Gotta look good for him. But uh, this opens up the rest of the league, you know, SKT, we're still riding that three game series set. Here they come. Some <laughs> vulnerabilities for okay. Kingzone. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll work out. I'm sure it'll be great. So yeah, LCK is getting interesting. Uh, CSGO. You know, we made a big deal. Everyone made a big deal about uh, Cloud9 winning the first major in North American history. But since then, they've been struggling. Just a little bit. Uh, they ended up beating FaZe again at the Summit Tournament, but albeit not by much. And they ended up losing to Team Liquid in a 2-1. And then they showed up this week at Star Ladder, and they got absolutely pistol whipped by SK and FaZe. Both their demons came back with a fierce beating. Some of these maps were 16-2. These are best of threes. So there is no wiggle room here for, oh, it was a best of one, it's a fluke. You shouldn't have faced them in the first place. Best of three set, smacked them up viciously. Maybe, just maybe, the Boston Major was a fluke because a lot of people didn't show up for this tournament. Practically the entire team at some points in these maps. Sometimes Skadoodle put it down, sometimes Stewie put it down, but Automatic, gone. Where'd this guy go? Probably spending all of his tournament money somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, you got a lot of money when you win one of these majors. Uh, 
Listen, shooters are dominating esports, they're dominating Twitch. You got this PUBG Fortnite battle for top dog in terms of shooters on Twitch. Obviously, CSGO is always huge. And now you got Rainbow Six coming around, pulling in some serious viewers on Twitch. This game came out over two years ago, and all of a sudden it's booming. Yeah, I don't understand what the hell happened here. It, <laughs> this was, in my opinion, one of the worst beta experiences ever had. The game didn't function at all, period. At launch, died on the table. And yet, two years later, here we are on a popular esports show, talking about a game that should, by all accounts, not even exist. They hit 180,000 people caring about this game on Twitch. They set themselves up with some real teams, a sweet barn burner of a finale. Rainbow Six Siege actually has an audience. Now, hold on a second here, folks. It's not the baseball or the basketball of esports. It's more like the darts or the cup stacking of esports. But it's still beaten Heroes of the Storm. And if we can have some semblance of reality, Heroes of the Storm still garbage. Rainbow Six may be dead, but we still have a baseline for what's crap and what can do better. The real miracle here is this is a great success story for any game that's actually crap. Maybe some dead games can pull themselves out of the gutter in a couple of years. We may be talking about Lawbreakers. <laughs> no, Heroes of the Storm, doubtful. But I mean, great stuff for Ubisoft and Rainbow Six and all the fans of the games. Penta ends up beating EG, by the way, in case you cared about the tournament, 3-2. Really crazy stuff. And some changes are coming to the fighting community in terms of the point circuit on the Capcom Pro Tour. Yeah, not uh, the best for all you grinders out there. So they've decided that the Pro Tour gets to boost up the points on the Premier while the ranking tournaments get the drop. And EVO is its own thing but infinitely more valuable. It is one of the most difficult tournaments to win in the year. Now you get 1,750 points instead of 750. So what does this mean? One, EVO is an automatic qualifier spot for CPT. Two, more importantly than that, if you want to get into the Capcom Pro Tour, your chances are probably infinitely better going to the last chance qualifier the day before the CPT. Because quite frankly, the number system is at that level where if you're not winning, you need to go to every single event. I hope you got points on your air miles because traveling to all these events is gonna get costly, probably not even gonna benefit the overall cost if you end up making some cash on the CPT. So good luck to all you guys who are living that life in the Capcom Pro Tour and rest in peace Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite that gets no points at all because they don't even care about their own game. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. Travel around if you're not winning and getting yeah, some I serious mean, cash from these tournaments. Your top eights mean nothing now. You're, you're losing 10 points less on winning the whole thing. I don't know. It gets really tough. Gets really Gotta win the important ones or just, you know, go to everything. <laughs> go to everything. A lot of travel and, you know, to make sure that your back is in the best shape during all this travel. Make sure you're spending most of your time sitting in a DX Racer chair. And if you go to DXRacer.com right now and use the promo code SHOTCOLLARS, you get 15% off all products on the site, and that is just a deal. It is a deal that you cannot deny. It's more a deal of the week. More confirmable, more guaranteed than the CPT. <laughs> Sitting comfortable in a DX race. Which isn't saying much and all that. But that's it. Eric and Mathos here, giving you the latest and the greatest in esports. This is the esports exclusive, presented by DX Racer.